Okay, guys. Um, I've been trying to think of many different ways to to bring this subject up with you guys. Um, but I thought this is the best way to do it. Um, one second. told myself I'd get all worked up about it, and, like, if I get worked up about it, it, feel, it will probably look like I'm judging people, and this is not about judgment, this is quite the opposite, this is, bringing it up is so frustrating, because this is about not judging, you see, I don't know the Bible very well. I know the verses, but I don't know the chapter or the book of where each verse comes from. And not every Christian has to be that way. Not every person has to know every single little detail. But here's the one thing I know. In the Bible, it says, don't judge up. It talks about, there's a chapter in the Bible that talks about not judging others. There's also another chapter that says, do unto others as they do unto you. Also, being kind to one another. There's even a parable about the, about the slave owner who forgave this guy of his debt. And because he, the guy wasn't kind to his own person that, his own slave that had a debt, he was punished worse. See, I don't know if you guys know what I'm trying to get at, but I see time and time again on the internet and in reality, hate and corruption, and evil. And I'm not saying from certain communities. I'm not saying the gay community. I'm not saying the lesbian community. I'm not saying that community. I'm not saying from drunks and from all, from all these people that supposedly are evil or supposedly sinned. I'm saying from the Christian body, the body of Christ, I'm sick of this corruption and this evil that we have forged on ourselves. I see Christians going out and protesting against gay rights and and against drunk and certain outfits and They say, we must rebuke them. We must rebuke them of their sins. And we must judge them. Rebuking is in our job. Yes, the Bible calls us to address the issues. But it's uh, the body. It's the body of Christ that must what we must address. It says... We, first it says, t it talks about coming to a person in private. The Bible does. Talk about coming to a person in private and addressing the issue. And if they continue doing it, addressing it with the body, with the mass. Which by the mass, by what that means is by the Christian body. Now how are you supposed to do that if that person isn't Christian? Address the whole, whole evilness of everything? No. That isn't right. That isn't what we're called to do. God, God, like Jesus even talks about how we have no right to judge. That it's only his Father in Heaven that can judge. Our Father in Heaven is the only one that has the right to judge.
I see these people go out there and spew hate at the at these different communities, at these different places. And who's the real evil in this case? It's us. It's the bo- it's the Christian body. It's the body that pronounces God and says, Love thy neighbor as thyself. It says, Do unto others as we do unto them. That says love and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and self control. By the way, I know that verse, and that's Galatians five twenty two. Yeah, five twenty two. And it says the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, and self control. Against such things there is no law. Where's the love? Where's the kindness? Where's the goodness? Where's the self-control when you do something like that? Yes, Daniel was thrown into the pit of the lions. But if you really think about it, he wasn't, he was thrown in by corrupted people who didn't know what they were doing. I just have to, I'm not trying to judge anybody. I know I sound like I'm judging the community. I'm just saying, where is love? Where is the kindness? I'm a bisexual, and I'm going to hear a whole lot of comments about this later. Oh my gosh. But, I'm, yes, I'm a bisexual. But my relationship between me and God is between me and God. Yes, I might get people who, if you come up to me and talk to me about being a Christian and still being this way. And spew hate at me. How, then, I'm not going to... I'm going to react to anybody about that. I would just ignore you. But some people will do way worse than that. And hate with hate never works. See, I'm still trying to figure out if the Lord wants me to be this way. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if the Lord wants this plan for my life. My sexuality is between me and God. Like somebody else's drug problem. If they want to fix their life, first they have to go to God for it. Well, if they're Christian, at least. I don't know. I don't, for me, I don't believe anything can be done without God. Nothing can be done without God. And for some people, it's not that same, it's not the same thing. But for me, it is. I'm sorry for being all blur. I don't have a proper camera for this. Um, like when I film live streams, it's a little bit better because it, it's a different uh, program. But where's the love when you say I can judge somebody, but you can't? Christian community is not holy once you become a Christian. You're not holy once you become a Christian. You're still a sinner. You're still just like everybody else. You can't rebuke them. Rebuke, repent of your sins. Bash, bash, bash. No. A Christian is called to say, I love you no matter what. And I'm still your friend. I'm still, I still care about you. But I don't believe what you do is right. And, and though I don't approve, I still love you and I still care about you. And I just want you to know that you can come to me anytime you want. That's what a Christian's supposed to say. Spewing hate is just going to make more hate. It's going to make more problems than good. Don't protest against evil. Protesting, like the protests against evil, 
You're spewing hateful comments at people. You're telling them that they're not loved and they're not appreciated and they're not cared about. When it, the truth is they are. They're beautifully and wonderfully made. Stop the hate. And, and learn to love each other as God loves you. And for those who have been for this, I'm so sorry for for what you've been through. I, I I probably have done it once or twice. Or somebody else has done it once or twice. And I'm so sorry. We never meant to come out with hate. We don't mean to come out about in a hateful way. Well, guys, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. They have an awesome morning. You guys have a fantastic afternoon. You have a wonderful evening. And you have an awesome rest of your guys' day. I love you so much. And God loves you too. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>